On now to the women's 800 metre freestyle final. No heats this morning, so heat two in effect has become the straight out final given their performances over recent times. And will we see our third world record of the championships? In lane four, Janet Evans, the world record holder as it is, a time of eight, me uh, eight minutes, rather, 22.44 seconds. And she's going to be pushed by the Australians, Julie McDonald out there in lane three. And there we see Janet Evans. She's already won two gold medals in this championship, but she set her world record three weeks ago, and that's a long time to have to maintain a taper. And she's such a small girl and doesn't have a lot of strength. I think she's tiring a little bit, and it may open the door for Julie McDonald, give her an opportunity to give her a good race. Well, this record that Janet Evans holds, of course, was taken away from Tracy Wickham just a few weeks ago. And I must say, up here in the commentary position, I'm in the middle of Cyclone Tracy at the moment. Tracy Corkins, the <laughs> American on my right, and Tracy Wickham has joined us for this race on my left. Yes, well, it should be an exciting race. Um, Julie is fit. She says she feels great. And um, she thinks that Janet isn't the, the most, well, the person that can be beaten because they're, we're only human. That's right. If I say Tracy, you won't know which one, but I'm sure you'll pick it up from the accents. <laughs> no guessing who they're supporting. The women's 800 metre freestyle final, lanes one to eight from top to bottom of your screen. So let's go through the starters. It's Tamoni Hasoda of Japan in one, Elisa Purvis of Canada in two, Julie McDonald, Australia three, Janet Evans, United States four, Kim Brown, United States five, Donna Proctor, Australia six, Miki Wakahoy of Japan in seven, and Sophie Dufois of Canada in lane eight. And Janet Evans already out to a very fast start. And you notice she's swimming to the left of the lane line. I think she realizes that Julie McDonald's going to try and stick with her and try and get a draft off of her. Lori Lawrence has told Julie to try and stick with Janet Evans, go out fast with her and try and beat her that second 400. Well, there are three big guns in this race. Janet Evans, of course, the biggest gun of all. Also, Julie McDonald and Kim Brown. And that's the placings after the first 75 metres. They're coming down towards the 100 metre mark. Now, what will be showing you throughout this race will have the splits, the world record pace. So after 100 metres, when Janet Evans set her world record, she'd swum 59.61 seconds. Now, this time, she's just a little bit slower than that, just over the minute, one minute point seven nine of a second. So watch for those splits as the race goes on. It's Evans in front of McDonald, third place Kim Brown. And you can see the difference in size there. Julie McDonald, the larger between Janet Evans and uh, Janet's just going to try and spin. You see her rating almost twice as fast as Julie McDonald. The 17 year old Australian Julie McDonald is really taking the challenge up to Janet Evans. She's almost on equal terms. In fact, McDonald could be in the lead. It's interesting as they turn. First place still being held by Evans, though, 132.49. Second place, McDonald just a touch, three one hundredths of a second behind her. And Kim Brown back in third place for the United States. And the crowd is already responding to Julie McDonald, and Julie taking a little bit of an edge there. And Coach Laurie Lawrence cheering her on, trying to get the crowd psyched up. They're going to swim eyeball to eyeball, and it's just going to be a psychological battle as well as a physical battle in the pool. Oh, they're stroke for stroke as they go in. Now, the world record pace, 202.35, so they're just a couple of seconds, about a second and a half behind that as they go around, and that's Julie McDonald in lane three who's taken the lead. McDonald in front, second place Evans, third place Kim Brown, Tracy Wickham. Well, I don't think um, Julie's uh, holding back too much there. I said to her not to go out too hard in the first half of the race, but uh, she's really giving Janet a bit of a fright there, and I, I don't think Janet really knows what's going on. But um, I'm sure Janet, she's, she'll go out pretty hard, but uh, probably not as, um, not as hard as what Julie is at present. Well, she's out by half a length now. Look at the difference in the strokes between the Australian on the top there and also Janet Evans. The arms being flayed around by the tiny little American girl. Uh, Julie McDonald seems to have a very strong pull underneath the water. Janet Evans looks like a windmill in action, in full, in full swing. And I can't understand where she gets the strength from. Uh, but Julie McDonald's got a really powerful stroke underwater. But, Let, uh, let's look now at the split then for 300 metres. 305.77, so again, they're round about the second and a half, just under that off-world pace. But Julie McDonald is swimming a blinder. It's McDonald out by a good half length. Second place, Evans. Third place, dropping way back out of it is Kim Brown. And fourth place, it's Donna Proctor, the other Australian. 
Now, Julie McDonald has never been this aggressive in an 800 meter freestyle. It'll be interesting to see if she has the endurance to come back. I think she does, but as Tracy mentioned, you can't go out too hard that first 400. It could really get you tired for that last 400, and Janet could stick with her. Well, that's right. Well, I spoke to Julie before the race, and I said to her, if you stick to her at least up, and up to where her hip is, um, you'll have her at the end of the race. Uh, but I certainly didn't say to go flat out. I think she's more or less taken her own um, self-esteem and really decided to do it on her own uh, accord. Well, this is a fantastic performance by Julie McDonald. She's out by a length and a half, almost two lengths on the Little American. That's McDonald right. on the right, and they go in now at the halfway mark. World record pace, 409.27, and she is starting to close in on that record. And she's about a second and a quarter behind it, so she's really picked up the pace. And we thought we might see a world record, expecting that it'd be Janet uh, Evans, but it may be Julie McDonald. My goodness me, I hope Julie doesn't die. I hope she hasn't gone out too hard, because I'm sure Janet will have something left behind there for the last half of the race. And look at Laurie Lawrence. He is going berserk. Julie McDonald is one of the key swimmers in his very strong stable. And she is swimming out of her mind at the moment. 450 metres have gone at the time. 441.87. Second place, Evans. And she's three seconds behind the Australian. Kim Brown in third place. And that's a lot of ground to have to catch up. And it's a very psychological disadvantage for Janet Evans to have let Julie McDonald get that far away from her. I don't care if you are the world record holder, it's very difficult to make up that much time. Julie would have to just, you know, really have the piano fall on her back and Janet would have to really take off. The world record pace, 500 metres is 5.13.03. Look at that, she is really closing in on the pace. She is now 0.78 of a second behind it. So Julie McDonald is making up time by every moment the race goes on. Go, Julie, go, the crowd call out. McDonald in front, Evans in second place, but she's almost out of it. And Kim Brown, the same distance away, third. Look at the distance. Julie McDonald's, I think, is probably the, the most shocked person at the moment. I don't think she really realises that she should be there or could be there, but she is. And uh, I think the most second surprise person is Jada Evans, because I don't think she's used to having someone so far out ahead. The crowd roars. 5.45.55 as she turned. She is now five seconds clear of the Americans. Laurie Lawrence can't believe it. Maybe he can. He says, go, Janet. Go, Julie, go. It's Julie on the right. In the middle, it's Janet Evans and Kim Brown on the left of your screen. And Julie, uh, Laurie Lawrence said he thought Julie McDonald could go about an 8.26, but if she can keep up this pace, she will be right on world record split. Coming in to complete 600 metres, 616.72. So she's dropped the pace just a little bit. She's 0.9 of a second off it now. She may be starting to tire. But I still think she's got such a great lead that no one's going to be able to catch her. She probably won't get that world record unless she really can put in a great last 200, but she will definitely get a best time. Well, there's not many people that can do negative splitting, and Julie McDonald is one of those people, and I will be surprised if she doesn't come home a lot faster in the last half of the race than the first. So, don't mark my word, there could be a world record inside here. The time now, 6.49.03. After 650 metres, Julie McDonald. I don't think she's got a chance of getting beaten here. She's out by now six seconds on the Little American world record holder. What a tremendous performance by the 17-year-old Australian. Fourth in Madrid, second in Edinburgh, second to Evans in the 400 freestyle, and she should take gold in the 800. I tell you what, this girl is going to be the one to beat in Seoul in 88. She will be the, cut, the world record holder and gold medalist in that event. 720.68, so she's only half a second away, about 0.4 of a second away from world record pace. Go, Julie, go. This could be a world record for the Australians, less than a couple of hundred metres to swim. And the Australians have a great tradition in their distance freestylers. Jenny Terrell, Tracy Wickham, Michelle Ford, and now here, Julie McDonald. The Australians can feel a world record coming on. <laughs> the world record, let's repeat it then. The world record held by Janet Evans, 822.44. Now there's only 50 metres still to swim. Can Julie McDonald do it? She has to come back at 30 seconds, and she is capable of doing this. She's got to start kicking a little bit more, but the crowd is really going to help her. I repeat the world record, 822.44. Tracy Wickham is out of her seat. No, she says, no, Julie McDonald. Let's get that record back from the Americans. Only about 15 metres to swim. She's right on time. Oh, she goes, 19, 820. Not quite, I don't think. 822, 823, not quite. A great performance, though, by Julie McDonald. Laurie Lawrence is a later.
tagged. And they're still coming in for the minor placing. Second, Janet Evans. Third place taken by Donna Proctor. What a great performance by Donna Proctor as well. And fourth place, Kim Brown. The time, I repeat, 8.23.18. And that is under Tracy Wickham's former world record, so that's, that's right. got to be such a great swim. My goodness, I'm absolutely speechless. Look at her, she is so happy. I am so thrilled for the girl. I don't think she, I don't think she had the guts, to, I didn't think she had the guts to do it, but I'm, I'm proved wrong. I told her she did, but I thought she might have had a little bit in reserve and not realizing her own potential, but she's proven that tonight. In a oh, very sensational point. Sensational stuff here at Chandler. And you, you think about it, little Janet Evans, who arrived on the scene at the US Nationals less than a month ago, if it wasn't for that almighty performance by this champion American, Julie McDonald would now be there on the lane ropes as the world champ. Oh, but still, the second fastest time ever swum in, a, in swimming history. And boy, those two will have a battle the next time they meet, I'm sure. She ended up winning by 10 seconds, you know. Mm. So maybe Tracy Corkins was right. Maybe the little American taking absolutely nothing away at all from Julie McDonald. But maybe the little girl there, Janet Evans, is tiring a little bit throughout these championships because that was about 11 seconds outside her best. Well, that's right. Well, it's been a month nearly since um, her world record in America. And there's a lot of... Um, pace work to do and there's also a lot of tapering and therefore you tend to lose your condition and especially traveling overseas and being in a new country new environment it does take a lot out of you but nevertheless it was a very good swim by Janet and uh, a courageous swim by Julie of course mm. oh watch out soul here comes Julie McDonald <laughs> and Laurie Lawrence gets the first hug what a happy lady I'll be in there for the second <laughs> <laughs> Laurie Lawrence, a man who's trained many champions in the past, including Tracy Wickham. Yes, that's right. Um, Laurie, an absolutely fabulous coach, um, but a marvellous mentor. He's uh, coached Stephen Holland, uh, he's coached John Sieber and myself, and uh, he's just proven that he's the best coach around. And Julie's mom is down there. I think I'm sure we'll get the second hug on. Oh, now come on. Oh. Co-commentator Mark Stockwell. <laughs> Look at the placings, the first four of them inside Kim Brown's winning time of uh, the 1985 Pan Pacific Championships, that was 8.36.92, and Donna Proctor picking up the bronze. Now that was perhaps the swim we all overlooked. She clipped six seconds off her personal best, so two outstanding Australian performances. Well, Julie, you had the place here tonight going wild. All of Chandler was standing up, cheering you on. Did you know you were going uh, so well? Well, I thought it must have been going well because I could see everyone on the side of the pool and I could hear the crowd as I came out of the turn. And well, okay, well, let's take it bit by bit. First of all, Janet Evans had uh, the lead on you. What, uh, what was your thoughts that first 200 when you went past her? Well, I wanted to keep with her. I knew she'd take it out fast and I just wanted to keep with her. I felt good the first four, 200 and that. And then when I passed her, I thought, well, this is it. I've got to stay in front of her and go as far ahead of her as I could. Well, what were some of the things you were concentrating on? Well, just, just feeling good and getting the feel of the water and just going well. Did you know you were on world record pace throughout that swim? No, I didn't. I didn't have a clue, but I, I thought it came across my mind that I might be going really well when I saw everyone on the side cheering me on. Who could you see? Could you see... Uh, oh, who was it? I could see Laurie and all the team, and it was just really good. Well, the girl's record that you just surpassed was uh, Tracy Wickham, and you just missed the world record. Tracy, have you got uh, any advice for Julie or uh, do you want to say anything to her to help her get there? There's plenty of time. It's only a couple of tenths of a second and you do it, mate. You'll yeah. kill him. You'll be at 820. <laughs> well, uh, Julie, congratulations from all of us here. You've done a great job. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. And what an ovation this is for the hometown girl, Julie McDonald. Don't they love her? A kiss from Big Carl Wilson. Fantastic moment for Julie McDonald and Donna Proctor for that matter. A moment to save her. And Pan Pacific Champion for 1987 in the new Pan Pacific Championship record time. The second fastest time ever of this event. The second fastest time ever swum. It was of a fan four of a second outside. Less than three quarters of a second outside the world record for Julie McDonald. Oh, how sweet it is. 
Oh, this is sensational stuff. She's such a tough competitor. Mm. She had the disappointments of being beaten by a virtual unknown Janelle Alford in the national titles. And that came as a big surprise, I think. And then Janet Evans emerged on the scene as well. But hasn't she reacted well? A very courageous swim. She was relaxed. She was confident. And she wasn't intimidated by the world record. And that's Holder. nice to see. Ja yeah. Janet Evans, how gracious in defeat. She's still the world champ. You can't take that away from her. Yet. <laughs> no. She's just a youngster, 15 years of age, Janet Evans. Julie 17, so they could have many epic battles to come. And don't forget Donna Proctor, the little girl from Newcastle. What a tremendous effort that was. In fact, both Proctor and McDonald took sti six seconds off their personal best time. So a Good wonderful effort. Good for Australian swimming. And we will see some great battles between Julie McDonald and Janet Evans, who have now emerged on the scene as the premier distance freestylers in the world. Presentation by Mrs. Carol Zaleski, the President of the United States Swimming. And we've seen a lot of good sportsmanship in this competition, which is very good to see. The handshakes, the pats on the back, and... It's a nice tune, this one. Mm -hmm. Australia's third gold medal, Advance Australia Fair. Certainly uh, enjoying Julie McDonald, and uh, she just gave a great interview, and uh, she's very, very excited indeed. This parochial crowd were up on their feet. They could sense a world record, and it certainly is exciting stuff. Fabulous stuff. So the Australian girls, who perhaps uh, were in the shadow of the men going into this meeting, have picked up all the gold medals for Australia. Nicole Livingston, too, now Julie McDonald, her mother. A lot of high fives. And then, um, afterwards, I'm sure. Yes, there'll be lots of celebrating. Lots of celebrating.